Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. On this one, we're going to do a review of this uh, $10 Ozark Trail knife. Um, there's a few reviews out there. I don't know if some of them say it's great, some of them say it's poor. So I think it's time to actually do one that's, that fits the bill. Uh, for you um, out and out bushcrafters, it's probably not going to be your thing. But I think it's a good one just to have as a backup, especially for the uh, furrow rod, for lighting fires. It, it does work fine, but you have got to use the serrated. So here's the blade and the serrations right here. That's what you want. The back is not going to do it. I've, I've messed around with it. I was about to say an F word then. I messed around with it for quite a while and uh, couldn't get it to strike. I had to really go at it. And then once I got it on the serrated side, which I didn't really want to do, it, uh, it, it works a lot better. So, uh, but I mean, what have we got? Um, obviously full tang because uh, it's got, it's got all the way down to here with um, power cord around it. There's nothing underneath the power cord and it's got a little loop on it. I don't know what's in the power cord. I haven't had a look, shall we take a look? I don't know if I can bet, no. No, ain't gonna quite get it, I'll probably slice my fingers off. So I don't know if there's any fishing line in it or uh, anything like that, um, but I think it's supposed to, it looks a bit waxy actually. Maybe it's, maybe it's good for actual lighting the fires. But if it was me, this would be my last result taking this paracord off, because I think once you do, you have got a pretty useless knife. Um, out of the bag, or out of the box, should I say, it didn't come that sharp. Um, other reviewers say, oh, it come out pretty sharp. For me, I like a sharp knife, and it wasn't quite sharp enough. So I went ahead and sharpened it on a stone and got a good blade up on there. Uh, it keeps an edge kind of okay. I haven't really used it that much, but uh, it seems to keep the edge okay, and you can get it very sharp. Um, but what you've got to do is you've got to make sure you get that angle nice and steep and take, take some of this... Uh, this paint here this covering off of the blade to really get it and work at it you can see how I've crept that up here um, and just keep playing with it um, and, you, and you will get it sharp I think I've got a boat coming I'm right on the side of a river bank here I'm actually fishing at the same time as doing this now with the ferro rod itself it has the actual light part it, you can see here how round it is I'll get a better view of this in a minute but it's got a little strip on the top, that's for lighting. Now I don't know if this other stuff here, whether it actually just peels off. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we do have, I think you can peel that off because it won't strike. No. So there we go, look, I've got a little shard. A little shard came off. So I think you can go ahead and feed that off into your fire and then light onto it. Uh, but need to check that out. Um, but yeah, whatever you do, if you get one of these, and I would get it for a backup. I mean, it's nice and light. Comes with a, comes with a fairly good sheet, and this fits in there pretty good. Uh, the way I put it in there, I slide it in the sheath like slow, like so, and then I like to take the power cord and put it over in the Velcro as well. I don't want that thing hanging around. There's no use to have it out here because. It's just going to snag stuff and it won't come out anyway with the velcro on it so it's got a little slack to it but i guess if i was to do the velcro up a little tighter uh, let's have a look see if we can get that slack out there you go <coughs> so for for ten dollars um you can't knock it really not for ten dollars um but for those of you that like a knife i've got another one ordered um i've got a gerber knife ordered um because this one, I think, is just going to dull too much. But I, I think it'd be good just for doing those um, little chores where you don't mind getting it smacked around a bit. Like I used the tip of the blade to undo a, a Phillips screwdriver, a Phillips screw, um, which was a real stubborn bastard um, the other day, and he done just fine. Looking at this full tang bit, okay. So it's actually, when you look at this in here, it's actually weaved in and out. So this full tang here has actually got a missing. It's, it's got a piece machined out right down through the middle. Uh, but yeah, as I said, overall, $10. I don't think you can really go wrong with it. I, uh, what I'll do, I'll do a few close-ups of it in a minute. 
Um, but as I said, for, for someone looking for a knife that is going to last, uh, I, I wouldn't get it. Um, I think it's just going to dull too much. You'll be forever sharpening it. It doesn't come with a sharpener. Um, the, oh, the sheath does have a have a belt loop on it. Fairly big as well. It looks like it'll fit pretty large belts. But yeah, I think it's just something nice and small to uh, to put in your backpack in case you you need to rely on it for. A, I would use it for a, a, a job that you don't want to you don't want to ruin your knife with. And what I would probably use it for is a decent one for bushcraft, and then this one for slicing like vegetables and stuff like that. I think that's what I'll probably use it for. Um, that way you're not dulling it too much. Um, as for lighting fires, I've got a better ferro rod than, than this. I call it ferro rod. Ferro. Fo phosphorus. Ferro. Borrow. Yeah, it. The thing that lights the fire with. Um, I've got a better one than this, but I don't have to slap it so hard. And the, actually, the, the one I've got is a uh, Ozark Trail one, and it works great. I mean, really good. I mean, you just got to get a little, little knock on it. Uh, get the fire started second time, every time. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, me lighting a piece of tissue, I guess. And then I'll show you some close-ups of it. Right, it's a little windy. I'm going to try and get him lit in this little crevice here. See if these shavings... I'm going to take them off anyway. I don't know if, they're, if they do anything. But it certainly does shave off nice, so it's got to do something. I don't know what though, because I can't light it with it. But, all right. Okay, first time. That's even a little breezy area. It's on a piece of cotton wool. But uh, there we go, first time ain't bad. Sorry if I haven't got the camera lined up very well. Okay, I'm in a safe place. There's uh, there's water behind me, and that's uh, that's all there is. So I can't burn anything. Oh, look at it! Take the moisture out of the stone. Okay, well let's have a close look at the knife. All right, folks, it come to my attention after uh, editing the video that um, I didn't close it down. <laughs> Amateur, right? Uh, so let's just do the final recap. Um, is it worth buying? Um, my honest opinion, honest opinion, which doesn't really go for much, but um, I would say yes, it is worth buying. Uh, even if you're like the serious uh, bush, bushcraft guy um, that's got like the ultimate knife, you know, two three hundred dollar knife that's just uh does all and I, I would still get this just for those little uh little things that you don't want to dull another knife up for or if your nice knife does get dull um also with the paracord on this one real easy to strap to a end of a stick and use as a spear so yes i, I would get it for the sake of ten dollars i mean it's it's really a no-brainer for me um which is good because i got no brain good cool thing about uh videoing up on here is we've got wind as well so kind of uh it'll go nicely into the uh the rest of the video <clears throat> but yeah to close down there it is ozark trail um ten dollar knife go ahead get it you've got nothing to lose and and if you're on a real tight budget you've still got a knife so uh yeah all good well i have got I mentioned in my in the earlier on in the video that I've got my Gerber knife coming, and I do have it. Um, it's the Bear Grylls Gerber knife. Um, I didn't buy it because it had Bear Grylls on there. Um, 
because you know well he isn't using it and even if he is then what, what the hell um i'm going to do a review on this the main reason i bought this was not for the f uh, fire lighting abilities it was actually for the sharpening ability it's got a sharpener right here just to put it through real quick no messing about of a stone just pull him through three or four times and he should uh hone up the blade again to me that was that that was the selling point so we we will get to use i've not used him yet or he's just come out of the uh out of the wrapper and uh you know what? it looks like he has been used before <laughs> but yeah it, it was a blister pack and it was it was tight in there but uh yeah we do uh we do a review on this it'd be a few weeks because um i want to do the review properly a bit like i did with the other one so uh thanks for watching and uh tune in for the next one